Low again. What do Lady of the Lake, the setup, and the unsuspected have in common? Well, all starred the woman we are pleased to have as our guest today. Possibly one of her favorite performers might be Laura Teeter, but she's definitely one of ours. Please join us in welcoming Audrey Totter. And now, here's your puckish man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. I grew up in New York City, but I used to work Chicago, Illinois a lot. And while I was in Chicago, I used to go to Rockford, Illinois, Joliet, Belvedere, Beloit. These are wonderful little towns that had theaters and stuff like that, and clubs. And I have a lady who is from Illinois, Barbara Hales. It's not Barbara Hale. <laughs> it is Audrey Totter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You know, Barbara Hale is also from Illinois. Yes, I do. Rockford is. Rockford, it? yes. yes. Uh -huh. And you are from Joliet. Joliet, that's right. Mm -hmm. Joliet, mm -hmm. Illinois. Yeah. When you were in high school, you just got right into the theater, a little group theater? That's right. Uh -huh. Tell me about mm -hmm. that. Uh, we had Methodist Church and the YMCA players, uh -huh. and I belonged to both of them, uh -huh. played the Ingenues. And then I went up to Chicago Radio. I still lived in Joliet when I went up to Chicago Radio. You did? Because you yes. did radio in Chicago. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where you really started. That's right. Uh -huh. And then I went to New York and did radio. And then I toured the country to play called My Sister Eileen out of New York. Uh -huh. Returned to New York, wanted to go into the theater. Uh -huh. And instead I got a contract. In those days they used to put you under contract. At uh, MGM or RKO? No, MGM. Uh, uh -huh. MGM and 20th Century Fox both wanted me at the same time. One How come they wanted you so badly at that well, time? Well, both of them ha heard me on radio. Right. And then they went and saw me. You were see. a very mysterious type of lady. Yeah, well, I used to play uh, with a lot of accents. Yeah. Because uh, you know, my m uh, mother is Swedish and my father is Austrian, and I used uh -huh. to pick up all the accents. That part of Illinois is a lot of Swedes. Lots of Swedish. I know. Large. I spoke Swedish as a child. Did you really? I? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. One of my favorite stories is my grandfather passed away. I was about six and my sister about four. Uh -huh. And we use the word in this country, nut, as being a little off, you uh -huh. know, but they don't in Sweden. Uh -huh. In Sweden, a nut's a nut. Yes. And so the minister said, the shell is here, but the nut's gone to heaven. Well, of course, we translated it immediately. Our grandfather was a nut. <laughs> Illinois, Joliet is, is a place where the nuts were anyway, wasn't it? Or is it a jail place? They had jails here? Or? We don't talk about that. You don't talk, don't about, talk about, about Okay, that. okay. I knew Joliet. They had something there. Yeah, going. but it's not what it, it wasn't one Maybe of a lot of nuts. But <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, then, well, anyway, so then I, uh, everybody said to me, oh, no, go with MGM. It's the Tiffany. Uh -huh. And uh, they were right. I was very, very happy there. It was a wonderful experience. So you were very young, right? Well, you know. Contract. You know. They gave you a contract right away. That's right. That's what they did in those days. And I thought it was a wonderful system. I loved making pictures at that time. Audrey, when you first arrived at MGM, the car rolls into the studio. When you got there, you got your own dressing room, your own place to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very first, what did they do with you? What did they actually do? Do you have to go to school? Well, or? they had to, uh, coaches, that, but, but the thing, main thing you did, you wanted to work in front of the camera. Right. And so we made tests with people. Ah, screen tests. Screen tests with people. Yeah. Or if uh, somebody was, in those days, they tested everything, wardrobe, uh -huh. and so they would have a scene done so yes. the actor or the actress could use the wardrobe, and then we would do that. Uh -huh. So I did that for about three months before I got my first film. Uh -huh. And who, what was your very first film? The they very used, first. They used to make uh, little program pictures. Uh -huh. And I, my first one was with Eddie Arnold called Main Street After Dark. Right. Dander Ye was in it. Uh huh. And he was just starting out. He was at Warner's. Uh huh. And that was the very first one. Did MGM really knew exactly what to do with Audrey Totter, or do you, was that your idea, which you your No, did? I had no control. That was the only trouble with the studio, was you had no control. No control. They put you in what they wanted to. They lent you out, got the money you didn't. Uh -huh. But it was still, to me, the golden era. 
because, well, first of all, you know, we didn't roll around in bed, right. hard expression like they're doing today. Uh -huh. And we, we didn't use all the four-letter words. Right. And I sound like a prude, but I'm terribly sorry. I just don't think that's necessary. And I'm glad I, I worked when we, when we had style. So I'm looking at Audrey, class. Audrey Totter just saying that MGM, when you got into the films, it was okay. Yeah, it, it was, was good. Now, understand, I think they make wonderful films today. Right. And they have wonderful actors and actresses. And I don't think they need to do some of the things they do, but they do. Uh-huh. You know? so. But you did a lot of great roles, Audrey Tucker. Yes, I did. You know very some nice very parts. sexy, beautiful roles in yeah, Hearted, hearted yeah. Little Women. You did Hearted Women, too. Mystery Ladies. You did yeah, all kinds right. of mystery and women. And played with the Giants, Clark Gable, Robert Montgomery. Tell me about Robert Clark Gable Taylor. working with Clark. What did you do with Clark? Which film was uh, that? Very little. Uh -huh. uh, hardly, hardly anything at all uh -huh. with him. Um, it, it was... Um, what was the kind of guy, first of all? When you met Clark Well, Gable. socially, I knew him. Right. I, I, you meet him at parties. And I've got a cute story to tell yeah. you. Uh, we were at a dinner party, and he was sitting next to me. And Lana Turner was across the... Gorgeous, of course. Yes. Beautifully jeweled. You did a movie with her. Uh, right. With Lana? No. With Lana? Mm -hmm. Postman Always Rings Twice? Oh, that's right. Where well, are you well, going, I Audrey Tutter? Postman Always that. Rings yeah. Twice. And it was a good film, wasn't it? was a great it? film. It was a wonderful film. How can you film? sit there and forget well, that movie? Well, I had movie? a little tiny part I forgot about it. <laughs> no. I'm Go getting ahead. along in years. Go I don't ahead. remember so well. Go ahead. Uh, anyway, I, I was looking at Lana's jewelry. Oh, it was so beautiful. And, uh -huh. and Clark Gable said to me, are you admiring Lana's jewels? And I said, oh, yes, they're beautiful. Uh -huh. And he said, well, you've got something more important. You have jewels inside. Wasn't that oh, nice? That was great. You wouldn't think he was poetic. <laughs> Did he want to date you then? No, I don't think so. No, it wasn't no, no. That? He was, I think he was married at the time. I don't know. I uh -huh. don't know. But, uh -huh. uh, Did you just go to a lot of parties? A lot well, of parties? yes, there were yeah. a lot of MGM. You, know, they you had to go. Didn't have to, but you wanted to. My heavens, uh -huh. they were wonderful. Especially L.B. Mayer gave great parties. He Tell was me about the studio. L.B. Mayer. Tell me about L. When you first met L.B. Mayer. Oh, he was. I thought he was the father of us all. You know. Everybody's everybody, just the father. Yeah. What do you mean by the father? Well, he, everybody, all the people were his children. You know. Uh -huh. We were all treated very well. Really. Oh yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough nice things. Of course, today the actors have more freedom. Uh huh. And they're paid better. Right. Um, so you see Judy Garland on the on the lot oh, yes, at MGM. Yes. Oh, all of Mickey them. Rooney. Yes, yes. We all had lunch together. The commissary, the commissary must yes. been. Tell me some of the people in the commissary. Oh heavens! It was just uh, fabulous. It was, uh -huh. it was just wonderful. First film, Main Street After Dark was a, or what was that? Yes, that was. Was it. that the mm -hmm. Main Street After Dark? Mm -hmm. Who's in that? Dandre Ye, Eddie Arnold, uh -huh. and I for, don't remember. Anybody and else, Dangerous no. Partners. Tell me about oh, that Oh, that was one. about the second film. Yes. Uh, James Craig. That's what I'm bringing uh -huh. up. James yeah. Craig, wonderful actor. Yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. was an MGM contractor, too. That's right. All of these people. Dan was, and Dan was uh, at Warner's. Um, he was, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. The Sailor Takes Her Wife. Who was in that one? Robert... Uh, um, Robert Young? No. No, 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 no. no, no Robert, no. it wasn't Robert Taylor. No. No. I remember that film. P those uh, June Allison. June Allison, Allison right. It was, was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. She's a nice lady. You still see her around? Uh, yes, once in a while. I haven't seen her in a long time. Our children went to school. Well, they're not grown. They're not grandchildren. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But our children went to the same school one time. She's, she's now married again. Uh -huh. Tell me about uh, Johnny Garfield. Because you, you did this movie, The Postman Rings Twice. Mm -hmm. That was a great mm -hmm. film. It's a yes. classic. Yes. And yeah. Lana Turner and Johnny Garfield. Uh huh. And Audrey Totter. Yeah. Well, but I just had a, it was one of my very first. I think it was the second or third one I made. Tiny little part, but it was outstanding fun. part there. Well, it was a wonderful scene. You know, when he said, uh, yeah, I said that the, the roadster I was sitting on said right. it's a hot day and it's a leather seat. You know? Right. Um, originally, we had done that in front of a tiger pacing up and down. Right. And the tiger <clears throat> did something not very nice, and they said cut. And uh -huh. John Garfield said, Audrey and I get a stunt check. <laughs> it's funny. But they didn't use it. I don't know why. So then they decided to put, put me in the car. Mm -hmm. you know, so. but Johnny Garfield was great. Wonderful, wonderful, yeah. And I later on worked in, with his daughter. He had a, uh, he had a daughter, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. uh, you also did Cockeyed mm, Miracle. Miracle. Mm -hmm. Keenan Wynn. Keenan Wynn, uh -huh. wonderful MGM star. Mm -hmm. Comic. And also a good dramatic actor. Oh yes, real yes. good dramatic he was actor. Very good. It was very, I was very fond of him too. He was very nice. Were you close? 
Well, you, you know, we, everybody at MGM, we were all for friends. It was, you know, uh -huh. it was like a, a fraternity. Lady in the Lake, that was the movie that really outstanding for yes. Audrey Totter. Yeah, well, Tell me about that, Audrey. Well, of course, it was the camera, uh, was the actor. Right. And so I had to look into the camera all the time. Constant into the camera. And they apparently had tested many actresses, and they tested me, and I got the part, and I couldn't understand why I got the part. Right. But it turned out, because I had done so much radio, I was used to working with just an object. Yes. Now, see, the other actresses that tested would keep looking away, looking at beyond the camera. Right. And so I would look right at the camera, uh -huh. you see. And so I got the part. It was a wonderful part. And Bob Montgomery, he directed it. Uh -huh. And I was, you know, just wonderful man. Montgomery, George Montgomery. No, no, no was Robert Montgomery. Robert Montgomery, I mean. I worked oh, with wonderful. George Montgomery, you too. You did work with George, but yeah. I mean, Robert Montgomery, what a great director, oh, actor, everything. Oh, a fine actor. He's a, one of the greatest comedians uh, ever in a really? light, light comedy. Oh, yeah. I think he was most famous for that. Like Cary Grant. That's right, yes. He was a, like a Cary Grant. Very sophisticated comedy. Yeah, yeah. The beginning or to the end? Tell beginning me about that. End. Yeah, uh -huh. beginning and the end. It's about the atomic bomb. That was the beginning of the atomic bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the story of the making of, of the, the atomic, making bomb. atomic bomb. It was a true story, and we, we played real characters. Right. Yeah. And Hume Cronin was in it. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at you. You did some movies that are mysterious ladies. Look, I'm going to show you a picture of Audrey Totter. Get a close up of this one. Look at this. Look how. Can you close it up for me? Look at that lady. Look how beautiful. And how about this one, my dear? Look at this one. Ah, uh, I love that one. That's so that's, beautiful. That, that part of my life is over. I don't look like that anymore, and it's all right. What has been the biggest change in your life, though? I, mean, right I got married to the most you, wonderful man any woman could be married to. To who? Uh, his name is Dr. Leo Fred. And you married a doctor? Yes, and he passed away two years ago. Oh. And my life has just been devastated since then. I see. It's been very difficult. So you were very, very happy. 42 years. 42 years. Wonderful and marriage how many children? made in heaven. One daughter, uh -huh. lovely daughter. Is she in the business? Uh, no, 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 no. Her name is Mia, and she has uh, two lovely daughters. Chadra, Chadra, I'm looking at you. You must have had some wonderful years at MGM. Mm -hmm. well, all the studios. I was, I was twice blessed because I had an, a fun career for a while. Uh -huh. And then I sort of gave it up when I got married. I did something, but not, I didn't do much. I did mostly television, but not films. Do you like television work? Uh, well, there's no difference. Because you uh, did a lot. You, yeah, you, you do I did a lot because of television. my husband didn't want me to take long assignments, and I was quite willing to do anything he wanted. Mm -hmm. And we had such a joyous and a happy marriage that that was another thing. I was I only had one marriage. I was lucky. Right. You disappeared from it. the films for a while. That's right. Because if you got married and you wanted to. Oh yes. Because you oh, wanted to. That's right. That's right. Tell me about the high wall. That's Robert Rag uh, Robert Ryan. Robert no, no? Robert, Robert Taylor. Taylor. That was a good mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, it was. I Tell played a psychiatrist in that. You played a psychiatrist, yeah. yes. I mm -hmm. remember that. That mm -hmm. was a great film. Mm -hmm. That was MGM? That was MGM. Robert Taylor, tell me about him. Well, Working again, with him. I, I, I mean, I sound like a r broken record, because no. everybody I've ever worked with was perfectly wonderful. I, and he was, too. He was charming. He was then married to Barbara You've had Stanley. no bad experiences with any none. of the actors no. in those no. days? No, none. Absolutely not. Really? No. How wonderful. And he was then married to Barbara Stanwyck. Uh -huh. and, um it was very cute because one night we were uh, um, had a shoot late and we were going to dinner and we couldn't right. find any place that was open. Uh -huh. So we said, I know what we'll do. We'll go home to the, uh, the best restaurant, Shea Taylor, and Barbara Stanwyck made us bacon and eggs. Uh, used to go to Frascati's and all these McCombles mm -hmm. and Cyril's. Oh, sure. Tell me about an evening. That was the whole system. They had to dress days. up. Oh, yes, yes. Black tie, say, everything, oh, gowns. The whole thing, yeah. Hollywood was very elegant, very though, elegant. in the 40s. Mm -hmm. so this was the 40s, early 50s. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Cyril's were, is the comedy store now. That used to be Cyril's. That's right, Cyril's. Mm -hmm. And the comedy store is there now. You uh -huh. should see it. Really? Ah, oh, forget it. I mean, it, how many elegant people have walked through that era? And the combo too. That, at those are the two, up the street. The two places. And, and LaRue's for, for lunch dinner, and dinner. And dinner, yes. And, and for Chasen's. Scotty's and Chasen's. Mm -hmm. It's all gone. Mm -hmm. Look in mm -hmm. here now. Yeah, well, it was all different now. But, you know, it's, it's, it's different, but it's still good. It's just a different time, more relaxed time. Uh -huh. Tell me about the setup, the movie, the setup. Well, that was with uh, Robert Ryan. Right. And That's the one I was thinking of, Robert Ryan. Yeah. I love that film. Yeah, and that was one of Bob Wise's very first films. Was it really? Yeah, he was a marvelous director. He was. And I almost didn't do it because I said, who's Bob Wise? I never heard of him. I don't want to work right. with a director I don't know. 
and the casting director MGM said you've got to do this and uh -huh. I, then I read the script and I met Bob and I uh -huh. just was so impressed with everything that he had to say and what he did with the film uh -huh. it's an excellent film you did some westerns yes you did yeah. just do the Vanishing this. American with who was that? Would you remember some uh, of the westerns? I don't remember. I, I made one with Joan Leslie and Joan Leslie, Brian yes. Dunleavy, I think, and I can't think of the name of that. You one. did a lot with Brian Dunleavy, didn't you? Well, I'm, uh, beginning of the end yeah. and this yeah. western. That's all. Mm -hmm. I see. But westerns, those were the. They days. were great fun to do. Do you ride yeah. horses and all that? I did not that. I'm not a good rider, but uh -huh. you know, you could fake it. And they always put um, people on, who are good riders beside you. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the FBI girl. This is in the '40s. Now, still, we're in the '40s. Uh, was that the end of the 40s, end early of the, the 40s. 50s? I was beginning. no longer under contract to Metro. I'd married by that you time. You left, yeah. And uh, I did do this film with uh, Cesar Romero. I love him. And um, Loved him. Butch. Yes, His name Butch, was Butch. Yes. Dated him, too. Did but, you really? Yeah, he was a wonderful escort, you know. He was a gentleman, Great. Wasn't he? Oh, yes. And great dancer. And charming man. And uh, George Brent. Uh -huh. was, Another elegant uh, man. An elegant, lovely man, yeah. George Brent, you're mentioning mm. some elegant men. We don't have them today. Oh, I think it's so. It's a different time it's of a, an elegance. Yeah, it's a different kind of. Now let's get elegance. back to the fifties. Now the blue veil, and the. Tell me about oh, that. Oh, well, that was something that I just did it. Curtis Bernhardt. Right. Uh, wanted me to do that. I just did a tiny little scene, and I wasn't particular. I did it for him. Uh -huh. What has been the hardest for uh, Audrey Totter? What has been really the hardest for you in life? What, what, what do you mean? Oh, I guess losing my husband. Losing your husband mm -hmm, has been mm -hmm, the hardest? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you were married so many years. And it was such a joyous marriage. Mm -hmm. You had a wonderful life, did you? I have. You have no regrets at all? No, no, no. Would you, wonderful childhood, back, you know. And you had a good childhood? Oh, yes, my mother and my father. And we had, I had two brothers and two sisters and extended family. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I went, you know, I had a good time. Looking back, so you I would do lucky. the same way? Yes. Really? I would not change a thing. Are you spiritual? You seem like you're very spiritual. I mean, you know. Well, do I believe I in a, a supreme being? No, I, just spiritual just means you're very. You s I'm serene. serene. Well, yeah. you know, when you're each by age, you get serene. Uh huh. No, but I, I do believe that indeed, indeed there's a supreme being in life after death. Uh huh. I feel my husband around me all the time. You do? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, that's, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's wonderful, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. If you weren't an actor, Looking back, if you weren't an actor in Illinois, Joliet, what would you have done? I have no idea. Really? From the time I was a child. You knew? I knew I wanted to be an actor. There are people today mm -hmm. are 30 years old. They don't know what they're doing. I know, I know. It's amazing. I can't believe yeah, that kind well, of a person. I guess, you know, everybody doesn't know. Everybody isn't lucky. I think you're lucky if you know what you want to do right away. Uh -huh. You've if had you, a good time in Hollywood. Yes, yes, I certainly have. If you believe in reincarnation, and I'm not so sure that right. I do because I don't know anything much about it, I suppose that that means people who really know what they want to uh -huh. do were in that profession before. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you always like actors? Oh, yes. Always? I've always liked actors, yep. actresses, directors, producers, you know. Who are some of the favorite directors you liked? Do you um, have a favorite? Bob Weiss, I guess. He was one. The setup. And uh -huh. uh, Chris Montgomery, and he was a very good job, although he was known primarily as an actor. Robert Montgomery, he was mm -hmm. known mm -hmm. as an actor, and mm -hmm. then he became a great director at the end yes. of his career. Yes, he did. And he directed films that you fit right in, because you played mysterious type of ladies, mystery. Yeah. I think that came back from the beginning of your career as a radio. I don't know where, a bit, what happened. I've always known you as here. But. I want to show my audience, look at this picture. <laughs> Can we see this? Look. I've always noticed you with your lips. You have that lips and you always say, why? <laughs> why? Remember that word, why? Yeah, yeah. That was your famous word, it seemed to me, Audrey Totter. It's, it's given a lot of joy. Men in the Dark, 1950. Um, Men in the Dark. Yeah, do you remember that one? Or women's prisons. Tell me about women's, women's prisons. prisons. That was you a, did a prison. Yeah, that was at Columbia. I was there for one year. Um, at Columbia? Yeah. And that was with Ida Lupino, uh, women's prison. You know, wonderful actress. This is a great actress. actress. Yeah. Did you learn anything from her? Uh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. What did you she, learn? She, was, she didn't direct this now. She oh, was she's a director, yeah. I know, but yeah. she was acting in this. I don't know, there was something about her that was, uh, she was such a professional. Uh -huh. Interestingly enough, she said that when she would sit at 
La Rue, which was kind of a darkened right, restaurant, which I loved. people would always say, hello, Audrey. And I had the same thing happen to me. They'd say, hello, Ida. And yet we looked at each other and didn't think we looked at all alike. Not at all? No. So and they used to thought you were Ida. Yeah, and they thought she was, isn't that funny and strange? Uh -huh. yeah. I just interviewed a wonderful Carol Lindley, just Sunday, matter of fact. Ah. And uh, we talked about you because you were in a carpetbaggers with her. She did carpetbaggers is the Harlow. The Harlow mm -hmm. thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were in the Harlow. What did you play in the Harlow? Oh, I... Forget. The mother? No. It wasn't the mother. The ex-wife ex of somebody. Uh -huh. I forget. I forget the ones I did. That was a good film. It was I guess so. It was mm -hmm. for TV, was it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, it was, no, was it? I don't think so. I don't remember it. But 1972, forget... you caught on television and you did Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a series called Medical Center. Here is the great movie star, Audrey Totter, moving into television. Big series, 1972. The, you played a nurse. Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Jane Meadows had played it originally, uh -huh. and then she didn't want to do it anymore. And so this the producer was a very good friend of mine, uh -huh. and he asked me if I wanted to do it. He'll fit in with your married life, Audrey, because you won't work very much, right. about once a week. Right. And one day, uh, I got somebody called me the telephone on the set, and it was Jane. She said, I just want to know how you're enjoying playing your one line. <laughs> <laughs> because that's why she left it. <laughs> so funny. What is the proudest moment in your life? Do you have a proud moment in your life, Audrey? I guess when I got married. You going back to that yeah. lovely well, that was, marriage that, that must was have been. The most you must have thing been in my very life. much in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no, wonderful. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. don't really find that certain love in mm -hmm. life. And you mm -hmm. found it. Yes, that's I was lucky. So fortunate. Mm -hmm. Is your daughter married? Oh, yes, she's married to a dentist. Uh -huh. I was married to a physician, so we had everything covered. Uh -huh, uh -huh. She has two children, a little boy named Noah and a little girl named Maggie. Uh -huh. Are you writing a book at all, Audrey Turner? No, no. Everyone writes books. You're not I going know. to do talk about... I, what I have to say, I can say in a chapter. You know, I mean... In a chapter? Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't tell. I, 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 nothing bad happened. I don't have any gossip to report, you uh -huh. know? I, it would be a dull book. Do you watch television at night and oh, see sure. your, so, some of your movies late at oh, night? And occasionally. And I, what do you, you know. think when you're seeing yourself on these late films? What do you think? What goes through Audrey Totter's mind? I sort of remember what it, you know, that period, what it was uh -huh. like. And, and, you know, I had a good time. I enjoyed it. I think this film, look at this picture. May I show this picture? Look how beautiful. What? This was a Western film? Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. You must have been very... See, I always thought of Audrey Totter with this wonderful face, this marvelous lips, the mouth that you've always... Well, that was then and now is now, all right? <laughs> give me three words to describe Audrey Totter. Just give me three words. Very good wife. Mm. I think I was. He always told me I was. That was a wonderful thing. Every time I'd cook a dinner, he'd say it was the best meal he'd ever had, and he told me every day I was beautiful. Oh, every woman should have a husband like that. What does make you happy right now in life? Being with my grandchildren and my daughter. Mm -hmm. That's the most yeah. important thing. And I have very dear friends, too. Uh -huh. Very close, dear friends that I see a lot, and so that's nice. I, looking back, you've had some great joys in life, Audrey Totter, and I don't know why you don't want to put it into a book. I, I, everything I would put in the book I've told you today, there's nothing more. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you have good times when you were in high school? High school? Yeah, oh, when sure. you were back with in jo Joliet, oh, Joliet oh, yeah. and, and you got into the radio. You know. All the things the small town kid, girls and boys do. Yeah. Uh huh. So we didn't have limos for proms in those days. We walked to the gymnasium where the prom was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some of the films, now looking back, what was your favorite? You must have a favorite of your film. Uh, well, I was, uh, you know, the setup. The and, setup is uh, one of your favorites. And uh, the uh, Lady in the Lake. And um, actually, I, the Lady in the Lake is really about someone is looking. You're looking for a killer or something like that, or what is that? Yes. Tell me more uh -huh, about that. I think so. I don't yeah, remember, remember too well. Too well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, people do these films and then they forget about it. Well, I don't ever dwell on the past. I have dwelt on the past a little more since my husband has passed away. So you, but I never dwell on the past or the future. I live in the now. That's why I'm looking at showing these pictures. Eh, please, it doesn't that's mean anything. then, now is now. Really? You know, yeah. Ah, 
I see. Tell me about Judy Garland at the MGM. You must have met her. Met her, didn't know her at all, you know. You, you know but she, she was one of my her. favorites. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, one of, my one of mine, too. Yeah. Very talented young lady. MGM Studios must have been great those days. Oh, the commissary, oh walking through the yeah. lots. Oh, everybody was there. Because you know, I remember stars. going as a kid, going through uh, 20th Century Fox when they were filming Forever Amber with Linda Darnell and Cornell Wilde. Mm. I was running back and yeah. forth to the commissary. Mm -hmm. I played in that film. I was one of the little, oh, did you? little boys. Yeah. Yes, I was a, a little 12-year-old yeah. kid, I think. I don't remember. All the but. actors and actresses of that period were so distinctive. They were, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, uh, there, nobody looked like anybody else. They had their mm -hmm. own definite mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. Yes. Frank Sinatra, I, you met Frank Sinatra. He came back, uh, he was on, this, on the lot when you came. Mm -hmm. You were there That's with right. Frank Sinatra on That's the lot. Right. I never worked with him, but uh, yep. I used to, oh, he, was, he was always uh, so gracious because they would, Mr. Mayor would give parties and Frank would always sing, you know. He was he really? Which, he was, he yeah. sang at the parties? Oh, yes. Really? He was always so gracious. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Under the Gun, tell me about that one. Any I, number I think can I, play? Or? Uh, any number can play. Uh, those, those are the so beginning another of mystery. things. These are, yeah, I you've think done so. a lot of mystery. Why mm -hmm. do you think Audrey Totter, the MGM gave you a lot? I don't know. They just cast you in these things. <laughs> you know, some are good, Have some are Have you done any so musicals good. at all? No. You never did a musical? No, I, I can't sing or dance. I, in, uh, um, Saxon Charm, right? That I did also with Robert Montgomery. Montgomery, I yeah. sang, wasn't me singing. You know? uh -huh. And we did a, a, a little dance. And I'll never forget. Um, usually, you sing to the record of the singer. Right. But because of all the movement, I had to sing, and the singer had to match me. Uh -huh. and I cannot sing at all. So when the scene was over with, Bob Montgomery said, "Ladies and gentlemen, this was the." people, the extras sitting there, right. the audience, he said, I want to congratulate you. You're the finest actresses and actresses I've ever seen. You never laughed when Audrey Totter sang. <laughs> <laughs> Dreadful. Biggest stars in the movies always were courteous to the extras on the set. Mm -hmm. Always. Stars were always... Uh, they were very courteous to all the to extras. Everybody, to everybody. To everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they were very kind to newcomers, helpful. When newcomers come in, um, when you were a newcomer on MGM, couldn't been. They were all very helpful. Who was so helpful? Oh, for everybody, Audrey. every single. Do you every, remember who really in, stuck in your mind? Who really? Well, was I helpful. suppose Bob, Bob, Bob Montgomery, Montgomery. You know, uh, yes. than he was the director. Right. But uh, Robert Taylor, Robert Ryan, all of them were always very gracious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Robert I'm Taylor. sure they are today too. I'm sure they are too. Robert Taylor was married at that time to you say Robert, Robert Stanwyck. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a wonderful guy he was. Mm -hmm. Lana Turner and him in that great film, Johnny Agar. Oh, yeah. Oh, one of my favorite mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. But you did a movie that I love, too, boy. I tell you, you've done a lot of great movies. Main Street, After Dark was a good movie, and that was your very first film. Well, it was all right. It was. Oh, I, I thought mean, it was a, a great film. <laughs> For me, it was. That is, it's, uh, you have, you have a, a big cult, fan, cult fan, follow. Lovely people out there. Oh, yes, you're quite right about that. Yes, yeah, I still get me. a lot of fan mail. Yeah. Funnily enough, I'm getting fan mail from behind the Iron Curtain now. You Russia, are. See? Hungary. I told places you. like they're showing the films. Uh-huh. And I get a lot from England and Italy, Spain, uh -huh. South America. It's amazing. Audrey Totter, I told you. Well, they're seeing the films now on television, you see. Uh -huh. So they write and want a picture. <laughs> so you've had a good time? Mm-hmm. You've mm -hmm. had? Yes, I have. And no regrets? Mm -hmm. No regrets at all? Well, mm -mm. love this picture. Love these photographs of all yours. When you look at these photographs, you say you just miss them. Like it's nobody. I tell you, I don't think about it. If you dwell in the past, that's ridiculous, isn't it? You can't have the past. I can't look like that anymore. I'm not like that anymore. Right. But so I enjoy what I've got today, which so, is wonderful. I'm Audrey very, Totter. You know, what really is Audrey Totter like today? A nice mother? Grandmother, grandmother. grandmother. <laughs> you like to be that loving. Yeah, sure, of course. Well, that's so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice talking to you today. Thank it's charming. you. Charming. You're a wonderful lady. Thank you. Is very. Hello again. What do Lady of the Lake, the setup, and the unsuspected have in common? Well, all starred the woman we are pleased to have as our guest today. Possibly one of her favorite performers might be Laura Teeter, but she's definitely one of ours. Please join us in welcoming Audrey Totter. 
And now, here's your puckish man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. I grew up in New York City, but I used to work Chicago, Illinois a lot. And while I was in Chicago, I used to go to Rockford, Illinois, Joliet, Belvedere, Beloit. These are wonderful little towns had theaters and stuff like that, and clubs. And I have a lady who is from Illinois, Barbara Hale. It's not Barbara Hale. <laughs> it is Audrey Totter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You know, Barbara Hale is also from Illinois. Yes, I do. Rockford is Rockford, it? yes. yes. Uh -huh. And you are from Joliet. Joliet, that's right. Mm -hmm. Joliet, mm -hmm. Illinois. Yeah. When you were in high school, you just got right into the theater. A little group theater? That's right. Uh -huh. Tell me about mm -hmm. that. Uh, we had the Methodist Church and the YMCA players. Uh -huh. And I belonged to both of them. Uh -huh. Played the engineers. And then I went up to Chicago Radio. I still lived in Joliet when I went up to Chicago Radio. You did? Because you yes. did radio in Chicago. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where you really started. That's right. And uh -huh. then I went to New York and did radio. And then I toured the country to play called My Sister Eileen out of New York. Uh -huh. Returned to New York, wanted to go into the theater. Uh -huh. And instead I got a contract. In those days they used to put you under contract. At uh, MGM or RKO? No, MGM. Uh, uh -huh. MGM and 20th Century Fox both wanted me at the same time. What How come they wanted you so badly at that well, time? Well, uh, both of them ha heard me on radio. Right. And then they went and saw me. You were see. a very mysterious type of lady. Yeah, well, I used to play uh, with a lot of accents. Yeah, that's I, Yeah, because my uh, mother is Swedish and my father is Austrian, and I uh -huh. used to pick up all the accents. That part of Illinois is a lot of Swedes. Lots of Swedes. I know. Large. I spoke Swedish as a child. Did you really? Like, yeah. Um, uh -huh. One of my favorite stories is my grandfather passed away. I was about six and my sister about four. Uh -huh. And we use the word in this country, nut, as being the little... Well, this one, my dear, look at this one. Uh, I love that one. That's, so That's beautiful. That, that part of my life is over. I don't look like that anymore, and it's all right. What has been the biggest change in your life, though? Um, right I got now? married to the most you... wonderful man any woman could be married to. To who? Uh, his name is Dr. Leo Fred. And you married a doctor? Yes, and he passed away two years ago. Oh. And my life has just been devastated since then. I see. It's been very difficult. So you were very, very happy. 42 years. 42 years. Wonderful. Married how many children? Heaven, one daughter, uh -huh. lovely daughter. Is she in the business? Uh, no, 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 no. Her name is Mia, and she has uh, two lovely children. Chodger Totter, I'm looking at you. You must have had some wonderful years at MGM. Mm -hmm. well, all the studios. I was, I was twice blessed because I had an, a fun career for a while. Uh -huh. And then I sort of gave it up when I got married. I did something, but not, I didn't do much. I did mostly television, but not films. Do you like television work? Uh, well, there's no difference. Because you uh, did a lot. You, yeah, you, you I, do I did a lot because of television. my husband didn't want me to take long assignments, and I was quite willing to do anything he wanted. Mm -hmm. And we had such a joyous and a happy marriage that that was another thing. I was I only had one marriage. I was lucky. Right. You but disappeared from it. the films for a while. That's right. Because if you got married and you wanted to. Oh, yes. Because you oh, wanted to. That's right. That's right. Tell me about The High Wall. That's Robert Rag uh, Robert Ryan. Robert, no, Ra no? Robert, Robert Taylor. Taylor. That was a good mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, it was. I played a psychiatrist in that. You played a psychiatrist, yes. Yeah. I remember mm -hmm. that. That mm -hmm. was a great film. Mm -hmm. That was MGM? That was MGM. Robert Taylor, tell me about him. Well, Working again, with I, him. I, I mean, I sound like a broken record, because no. everybody I've ever worked with was perfectly wonderful. I, and he was, too. He was charming. He was then married to Barbara You've had Stanley. no bad experiences with any of none. the actors no. in those no. days? None. Absolutely not. Really? No. How wonderful. And he was then married to Barbara Stanwyck. Uh -huh. and, um it was very cute because one night we were uh, um, had a shoot late and we were going to dinner and we couldn't right. find any place that was open. Uh -huh. So we said, I know what we'll do. We'll go home to the, uh, the best restaurant, Shea Taylor, and Barbara Stan, we made us bacon and eggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> we used to go to Friscati's and all these McCombles mm -hmm. and Cyril's. Oh, sure. Tell me about an evening. That was the whole that, system. They had to dress days. up. Oh, yes, yes. Black tie, everything, oh, gowns. The whole thing, yeah. Hollywood was very elegant, very those, elegant. in the 40s. Mm -hmm. so this was the 40s, early 50s. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Cyril's were, is the comedy store now. 
that used to be Cyril's. That's right, Cyril's. Mm -hmm. And the comedy store is there now. You uh -huh. should see it. Really? Ah, oh, forget it. I mean, it, how many elegant people have walked through that era? And of the combo, too. That, those the are combos the two, up the street. The two places. And LaRue's for, for lunch dinner, and dinner. dinner. yes. And, and for Chasers. Scotty's and Chasers. So you're working with Clark. What did you do with Clark? Which film was uh, that? Very little. Uh -huh. uh, hardly, hardly anything at all uh -huh. with him. Um, it, it was... Um, what was the kind of guy, first of all, when you met Clark? Well, Lee? socially I knew him. Right. I, you meet him at parties. And I've got a cute story to tell yeah. you. Uh, we were at a dinner party, and he was sitting next to me, and Lana Turner was across the, gorgeous, of course, yes. beautifully jeweled. You did a movie with her. Uh, right. With Lana? No. With Lana? Mm -hmm. Postman Always Rings Twice? Oh, that's right. Where well, are you well, going, Audrey Tutter? Postman Always that. Rings yeah. Twice. And it was a good film, wasn't it? was a wasn't great it? film. It was a wonderful film. How can you film? sit there and forget well, that movie? Well, I had movie. a little tiny part I forgot about it. <laughs> no. I'm Go getting ahead. along in years. Go I don't ahead. remember so well. Go ahead. Uh, anyway, I, I was looking at Lana's jewelry. Oh, it was so beautiful. And, uh -huh. and Clark Gable said to me, are you admiring Lana's jewels? And I said, oh, yes, they're beautiful. Uh -huh. And he said, well, you've got something more important. You have jewels inside. Wasn't that oh, nice? That was great. You wouldn't think it was poetic, <laughs> Did he want you? to date you then? No, I don't think so. No, it wasn't no, no. That? He was, I think he was married at the time. I don't know. I uh -huh. don't know. But, uh -huh. uh, you know. Did you just do a lot of parties? A lot oh, of parties? yes, there were yeah. a lot of MGM, you know. They you had to go. Room. Didn't have to, but you wanted to. My heavens, uh -huh. they were wonderful. Especially L.B. Mayer gave great parties. He Tell was me about the studio. L.B. Mayer. Tell me about L. When you first met L.B. Mayer. Oh, he was. I thought he was the father of us all. You know, everybody's every, just the father. Yeah. What do you mean by the father? Well, he, everybody, all the people were his children. You know, uh -huh. we were all treated very well. Really? Oh yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough nice things. Of course, today the actors have more freedom. Uh huh. And they're paid better. Right. Um, so you see Judy Garland on the on the lot oh, yes, at MGM. Yes. Oh, all of Mickey them. Rooney. Yes, yes. We all had lunch together. The commissary, the commissary must yes. been. Tell me some of the people in the commissary. Oh heavens! It was just uh, fabulous. It was, uh -huh. it was just wonderful. First film, Main Street After Dark was a, or what was that? Yes, that was. Was it. that the mm -hmm. Main Street After Dark? Mm -hmm. Who's in that? Dandre Ye, Eddie Arnold, uh -huh. and I for, don't remember. Anybody and else, Dangerous no. Partners. Tell me about oh, that. Oh, that was one. about the second film. Yes. Uh, James Craig. That's what I'm bringing uh -huh. up. James yeah. Craig, wonderful actor. Yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. was an MGM contractor, too. That's right. All of these people. Dan wasn't. Dan was uh, at Warner's. Um, he was, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. The Sailor Takes Her Wife. Who was in that one? Robert. Oh, uh, Robert Young? No. No, 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 no. no, Robert, no. It wasn't Robert Taylor. No. No. I remember that film. P those uh, June Allison. June Allison, Allison right. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. She's a nice lady. You still see her around? Uh, yes, once in a while. I haven't seen her in a long time. Our children went to school. Well, they're not grown. I have uh -huh. grandchildren. Uh -huh. But our children went to the same school one time. She's, she's now married again. Uh -huh. Tell me about Johnny Garfield. Because you, you did this movie, The Postman Rings Twice. Mm -hmm. That was a great mm -hmm. film. It's a yes. classic. Yes. And Lana Turner and Johnny Garfield. Uh-huh. And Audrey Totter. Yeah. Well, but I just had it. It was one of my very first. I think it was the second or third one I made. Tiny little part, but it was great outstanding fun. part there. Well, it was a wonderful scene. You know, when he said, uh, you know, "I said that the, the roadster I was sitting on said right. it's a hot day and it's a leather seat." You know? Right. Um, originally, we had done that in front of a tiger pacing up and down. Right. And the tiger <coughs> did something not very nice, and they said, "Cut." And uh -huh. John Garfield said, Audrey and I get a stunt check. <laughs> it's funny. But they didn't use it. I don't know why. And then they decided to put, put me in the car. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Johnny Garfield was great. Wonderful, wonderful, yeah. And I later on worked in, with his daughter. He had a, uh, he had a daughter. Mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. uh, you also did Cockeyed mm, Miracle. Miracle. Mm -hmm. Keenan Wynn. Keenan Wynn, uh -huh. wonderful MGM star. Mm -hmm. Comic. And also a good dramatic actor. Oh yes, real yes. good dramatic he was very actor. Good. I was very fond of him too. He was very nice. Were you close? Well, you, you know, we, everybody at MGM, we were all for friends. It was, you know, uh -huh. it was like a, a fraternity. Lady in the Lake. That was the movie. That really outstanding for. Yes. Audrey Totter. Yeah, well, Tell me about that, Audrey. Well, of course, it was the camera. Uh, was the actor. Right. And so I had to look into the camera all the time. Constant into the camera. And they apparently had tested many actresses, and they tested me, and I got the part, and I couldn't understand why I got the part. Right. But it turned out, because I had done so much radio, I was used to working with just an object. Yes. Now, see, the other actresses that tested would keep looking away, looking at beyond the camera. Right. 
And so I would look right at the camera, uh -huh. you see. And so I got the part. It was a wonderful part. And Bob Montgomery, he directed it. Uh -huh. And I was, you know, just wonderful man. Montgomery, George Montgomery. No, no Robert Montgomery. Robert Montgomery, I mean. I worked with George wonderful. Montgomery, you too. You did work with George, but yeah. I mean, Robert Montgomery, what a great director, oh, actor, everything. Oh, a fine everything. actor. He's a, one of the greatest comedians uh, ever in a really? light comedy. Oh, yeah. I think he was most famous for that. Like Cary Grant. That's right, yes. He was like a, a Cary Very Grant. sophisticated comedy. Yeah, yeah. The beginning or to the end? Tell beginning me about that. Beginning the end. Yeah, uh -huh. beginning and the end. It was about the atomic bomb. That was the beginning of Brian the Dunleavy. atomic bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the story of the making of, of the, the atomic making bomb. atomic bomb. It was a true story, and we, we played real characters. Right. Yeah. And Hume Cronin was in it. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at you. You did some movies that are mysterious ladies. Look, I'm going to show you a picture of Audrey Totter. Get a close-up of this one. Look at this. Look how, can you close it up for me? Look at that lady. Look how beautiful. And how about... Off, you uh -huh. know, but they don't in Sweden. Uh -huh. In Sweden, a nut's a nut. Yes. And so the minister said, the shell is here, but the nut's gone to heaven. Well, of course, we <laughs> translated it immediately. Our grandfather <laughs> was a nut. <laughs> Illinois, Joliet is, is a place where the nuts were anyway, wasn't it? Or is it a jail place? They had jails here? Or? We don't talk about that. You don't talk, don't about, talk about that? Okay, that. okay. <laughs> I knew Joliet. They had something there. Yeah, but it's not what it, it wasn't. Maybe a lot of nuts. But <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, then, well, anyway, so then I, uh, everybody said to me, oh, no, go with MGM. It's the Tiffany. Uh -huh. And uh, they were right. I was very, very happy there. It was a wonderful experience. So you were very young, right? Well, you know. Contract. You know, they gave you a contract right away. That's right. That's what they did in those days. And I thought it was a wonderful system. I loved making pictures at that time. Audrey, when you first arrived at MGM, the car rolls into the studio. When you got there, you got your own dressing room, your own place to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very first, what did they do with you? What did they actually do? Do you have to go to school? Well, or? they had to, uh, coaches, that, but, but the thing, main thing you did, you wanted to work in front of the camera. Right. And so we made tests with people. Ah, screen tests. Screen tests with people. Yeah. Or if uh, somebody was, in those days, they tested everything, wardrobe, uh -huh. and so they would have a scene done so yes. the actor or the actress could use the wardrobe, and then we would do that. Uh -huh. So I did that for about three months before I got my first film. Uh -huh. And who what was your very first film? The they very used, first. They used to make uh, little program pictures. Uh -huh. And I, my first one was with Eddie Arnold called Main Street After Dark. Right. Dander Ye was in it. Uh huh. And he was just starting out. He was at Warner's. Uh huh. And that was the very first one. Did MGM really knew exactly what to do with Audrey Totter, or do you, was that your idea, which you... Your, no, I yeah. had no control. That was the only trouble with the studio, was you had no control. No control. They put you in what they wanted to. They lent you out, got the money, you didn't. Uh -huh. But it was still, to me, the golden era, because, well, first of all, you know, we didn't roll around in bed, right. hard expression like they're doing today. Uh -huh. And we we didn't use all the four-letter words. Right. And I sound like a prude, but I'm terribly sorry. I just don't think that's necessary. And I'm glad I I worked when we when we had style. So I'm looking at Audrey, class. Audrey Totter to saying that MGM when you got into the films it was okay. Yeah, it was, was good. Now understand, I think they make wonderful films today. Right. And they have wonderful actors and actresses. And I don't think they need to do some of the things they do, but they do. Uh huh. You know? So. But you did a lot of great roles, Audrey Tucker. Yes, I did. You know some nice very parts. sexy, beautiful roles in yeah, hearted, yeah. hearted little women. You did hearted women too, mystery ladies. You did yeah, all kinds right. of mystery and women. Played with the giants, Clark Gable, Robert Montgomery. Tell me about Robert Clark Gable.